After rescuing the emperor from Shun'an, Cao Cao leads him to his own capital of Shucheng. His control of the revered emperor of the long-reigning Han Dynasty gives him a certain prestige. Elsewhere, Yuan Shu's faction is gradually losing support. Panicking, he does the unthinkable. He declares himself emperor, basing his claim on the imperial seal he had taken from the late Sun Zhang. He claims to be the true leader and calls on all faithful lords to support him. However, this gives Yuan Shao the perfect excuse against him. Shao proclaims Xu a traitor and begins his own campaign against him. An imperial edict? Yes. These orders come from the emperor himself. He wishes us to slay the traitor Yuan Shu for having the audacity to name himself emperor. However, I believe Cao Cao is behind this. Yuan Shu himself is a small man, but his army is large. This is simply a strategic move made in the name of the emperor. Hmm. I don't really care about the details. Yuan Shu sure is a strange one, naming himself Emperor when he hasn't even seized control of the land yet. He was presumably hoping to bluff his way through it until he could make it a reality. Unfortunately, there are many men in this world like that, Sun Tzu. Unlike him, you achieved actual results. You have built up a kingdom to rival Yuan Shu's here in Jiangdong. As such, I feel the eyes of the land are upon you. So, how will you respond, Sun Tzu? Your decision could greatly alter the course of the land. If we move north, we will face Yuan Shu eventually. Plus, he must answer for my father's death. And with Tao Tao behind the edict, we have little choice. Of course. Cao Cao is not a man to be taken lightly. Do you remember the presence with which he carried himself? Yes, I do. Eventually, I believe he will prove to be an even greater threat to us than you and Shu. Hmm. A greater threat, indeed. The day will come when we must face him in a battle for control of the land itself. We just need to make sure that we live to see it. We have already gone over the details. Our plan is to align with Cao Cao in order to defeat Yu and Shu. I want each of you to lead your units in the attack on Cho Chun. I will meet up with you later. That is all. Our victory is depending on your efforts. I don't like this. When was Zhou Yu put in a position to give me orders? Don't let it get to you. It's the role of us veterans to show the young'uns the way and help support their growth and development. Sa trusts Zhou Yu with his life. I understand how you feel, Cheng Pu, but it's his decision to make. Yes. Despite his youth, Master Zhao Yu's strategies are uncommonly brilliant. He is everything you'd want in a commander. You're too young to even know what you're talking about. You would look down upon me simply because I am young? We both serve the same generous master. Hey, let's try to get along, okay? Come on, say something to back me up here, Joe Tai. You don't talk much, hmm? Are you sure you're okay with standing out even less than I do? Did you say something? You said that on purpose. Is my presence really that unremarkable? Hey! Quit your bickering, you guys! We're about to go to war here? 
Forgive me. You are correct, Princess. I'm sorry, Master Cheng Pu. I allowed myself to get a little carried away just now. I shall be more careful. No, I shouldn't have been so defensive. Haha! <laughs> it looks like we're all a bunch of mewling babes before the princess. What's that supposed to mean? Never mind, let's get moving. It's time we drive Yuan Shu out of his hole in Shoshun. So, that's basically the gist of it. We're teaming up with Cao Cao to attack Yuan Shu. Cao Cao is a most powerful ally to have. I don't think we've fought together since the campaign against Dong Zhuo. You're right. Our victory in this battle is almost assured. However, how we win is just as important. We need to continue building up our strength for the conflicts yet to come. We must keep that in mind as we approach this battle. Forgive me, all of you. It seems I need to rely on your help once more. I'll go anywhere to help you, Lord Sensa. Through thick and thin. I promise, I'll always be by your side. Hey! Me too! I'm willing to go anywhere for my Lord Zhou Yu. Everybody, prepare to move out! We will attack Shoshun and rid the land of Yuan Shu! At last, we will make Yuan Shu pay for his crimes. Zhou Yu saw this coming. It seems he does have the gift of foresight. However, I'll be interested to see just how well that translates on the battlefield. The enemy is on its way here! Take defensive positions! Cao Cao, I don't think we've met since that time we faced Dong Zhuo. Yes, you're Sun Jian's boy. I see you've grown into a fine young man. You truly are the son of the Tiger of Jiandong. It is a pity that your father was taken from us so early. He truly was one of the land's greatest heroes. Thank you. I know my father would have been happy to hear you say so. Although, this is no time to relive the past, right? Indeed. I look forward to seeing your considerable strength in this battle against Yuan Shu. Go forth, young tiger, and do what you do best. Sure thing. That goes without saying. Okay, everybody, it's time to go. It's time we repay the debt we owe you and Shu.
Hey, get on in here. Again. Thank <laughs> you. 